all those details. We will continue to track further updates from Sambal, but we are shifting our focus uh, towards some other rather crucial developments uh, um, that we are tracking for all of you. Now, Gautam Adani, Sagar Adani and Vineet Jain have not been charged with violations of the US of Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. They have been excluded from the Foreign Corruption Practices Act charges by the US Department of Justice. Only Azure and CDPQ officials have been charged with bribery in the US DOJ indictment. Now, all reports are claiming that Adani officials charged of bribery or corruption are incorrect claims. The Adani group has in fact, uh, uh, their Green Energy Limited um, uh, vertical has in fact released a statement saying uh, that Gautam Adani, Sagar Adani, Vini Jain are cleared of bribery charges and uh, the indictment offers absolutely no evidence that bribes were paid by Adani executives to Indian government officials and the complaint solely rests on claims that bribes were promised or discussed. And uh, they've also gone on to state that news reporting by media houses on bribery and corruption are incorrect and it's ill-founded US action and reckless reporting that has uh, taken place. This is, of course, uh, their uh, statement uh, to uh, the uh, stock exchange, for their filing before the stock exchange. With us on the broadcast uh, this afternoon is Professor Madhav Nalapath, Editorial Director of the Sunday Guardian. Uh, sir, good afternoon and thank you so much for taking our time and speaking uh, to NewsX. Uh, now, what's interesting is amidst all these, uh, this last one week where we've seen this entire ordeal take place, uh, the Adani group has suffered losses amounting to 55 billion US dollars. They've lost uh, key energy deals, including one in Kenya. Uh, but that's not all. They're now also facing increased scrutiny uh, from uh, their strategic partners, from investors as well. Now, the group is, of course, uh, one of India's uh, largest infrastructure conglomerates. They're involved in energy and logistics, and they compete with China. Uh, as well as the US entities at the global level. So has it been a targeted attack, not just on the Adani group, but also the Indian economy at large? Well, look, uh, I'd like to point out that uh, Adani is very significant in the Indian economy. On uh, infrastructure, for example, ports, a very, very important component of development. He's, he's very much there. Airports. Uh, again, a very significant component. He's very much there. A lot of other uh, in, industrial verticals also and infrastructure verticals, he's very much there. So there's no question that uh, he's a very significant player in the whole thing. And there's also no question that this kind of a charge, uh, I mean, the fact that, the, that these particular charges of, of personal involvement and bribery have been withdrawn, frankly, uh, it just shows how careless the prosecutors have been because that these are the I mean because of the three names being mentioned uh, this entire uh, meltdown of stock has taken place and we have to find out who has benefited from that who have been you know, short sellers and mm -hmm. and who have been benefiting from that huge fall that's very clear but uh, having said that the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, I mean the Adanis would uh, the three of them have not been charged of, uh, of this of bribery, um, some other people in the organization have been either bribery or, or rather attempted bribery. Hmm. The point is the U.S. is a hyper-regulated market in some areas. And if you take even one dollar from the U.S., you're subject to a whole raft of regulations and laws. And frankly, uh, they're very, very, you know, dense. There are large numbers of laws there. In some areas, the U.S. is hyper-regulated. India is not so regulated. In some areas, India is hyper-regulated, U.S. is not so regulated. So I'm quite sure that uh, Gautam Adani would have been consulting all kinds of lawyers before he went in for any kind of uh, effort to collect money from the U.S. Mm. And uh, the fact of the matter is that the lawyers would have advised him about the situation, having knowing the ground position. So um, this is a welcome development from the Adani point of view. And I'm sure that there will be further proof that uh, frankly this all these charges are, are not correct and uh, once that proof emerges i think he'll be cleared but in the meantime there's been a huge fall in, in adani stock and the question is who has profited from that i think it's worth finding out because mm. i mean you know uh, the u.s system 
it's got its very strong points it's got its weak points uh, for example um, it's got its very strong points and one thing i will tell you about the us the us knows india is a very valuable strategic partner and india is an indispensable strategic partner that's why for example those ridiculous charges were brought against the prime minister external affairs minister and nsa were clearly denied by no less a man than justin trudeau himself he must have been really um, unhappy to issue a denial but he must have been told you better do it you're the one who blamed them now you uh, you know you deny it because the the india us relationship is too important to be sacrificed on the altar of the careless remarks of anybody even if uh, the prime minister of canada so i think we have to see how uh, what happens in the court in the us courtroom uh, regarding these charges and what uh, so called evidence is brought forth i'm sure that rani group has sufficient evidence that the that the this is a fake uh, news i a mean, fake planted by enemies of the com- uh, company corporate enemies etc and it could very well be enemies of india because you have very many lobbies working against india uh, in the us mm-hmm. and uh, you know hitting at a very prominent indian businessman is one way of operating successfully so we have to wait and see what happens in court but uh, given that uh, this has been done and these three have been exonerated members of the family there is every expectation that the rest also will be exonerated and eventually all the charges will be found to be fake but if, you know if, as and when that happens it is clear that there would have been some kind of uh, a premeditated effort to ensure that uh, you know uh, adani stock tanks at the very least i think that effort would have been there and it's worth finding out uh, who did that but i'm sure that with forensic evidence it is possible to find that out Uh, we can find out who has made profits and even if there are shell entities with the help of the united states and the, the uk you can locate uh, as to who are the beneficial owners ultimately of those shell entities so i think uh, this story is only you know in a sense i'm very glad that this has happened because of the fact that the indian corporate sector he is such an important figure and i'm sure that he will be vindicated otherwise he would not have issued such a strong denial as he has issued you know he knows us law he knows us regulation so this kind of a denial can come only when he is convinced of his own innocence and there is enough frankly evidence to show that he is innocent which i'm sure he'll present to Indeed, and uh, sir, you know something that uh, prominent and uh, distinguished lawyers such as senior advocate uh, Mukul Rohatki and senior advocate Mahesh Jaitpalani have pointed out that absolutely no evidence has been provided by the Department of Justice uh, in the all in all the five counts. There's been no evidence that has been provided, and they've also uh, spoken about the timing of this. Advocate J- uh, senior advocate Jaitpalani has pointed out towards the sketchy timing of all of this. He said uh, that uh, adani had just congratulated donald trump and had vowed to invest 10 billion us dollars in uh, the american energy infrastructure sector uh, and uh, the energy sector in particular um so what do you make of the timing do you think uh, it's just a coincidence or that could have been planned as well look uh, i have a lot of respect for the united states i've always been a strong pro- proponent of india us uh, friendship I feel India and the US are important strategic partners and we need to work with each other to protect the Indo-Pacific uh, jointly. Uh, having said that, I'd like to point out that what is now called lawfare is not unknown uh, even in the US and sometimes prosecutors have been known to be overzealous if I may say so and rely on evidence that subsequently turns out to be incorrect. Now Donald Trump himself has been the victim of significant amount of lawfare there's no question about that and uh, whether mr adani is or not it is a question that the court will determine and i'm sure that the adani group has enough evidence to show that they have been innocent victims of lawfare and in which case i think this whole case will collapse so i'm quite optimistic that this whole case will collapse so i have a lot of confidence friend in the us system as i have in the indian system and uh, 
once the true facts are presented the fake facts will then have to move aside thank you all right so thank you so much for taking our time and speaking with us on the broadcast today with that viewers it's a wrap on this bulletin more news and updates on the other side stay tuned on newsx